Hey all, um, I know one thing that uh, I've been talking about a lot is that uh, first issue material will work with the new edition of Realms of Pugmire. Um, and so I thought I'd make a quick video to actually show you how easy it is to convert. And I figure most people are going to want to convert their characters from first edition to second edition. So I'm, I'm going to show you an example of, of how that's done. Uh, so um, this is the playtest document in its current iteration. Uh, it may look a little different. Uh, when you look at it, if you look at the Kickstarter version, uh, and again, it'll look different in the final product. Uh, so we're going to go through a couple of stages of playtesting and errata. So, uh, but this, the large strokes should, should all be present here. Uh, um, and as you see, uh, this is from the appendix of the book, um, and there's a section that talks about conversion of older material. Uh, so as an example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert uh, Rex Pyrenees here. Uh, Rex is from The Role of Good Dogs and Excellent Cats from first edition. Uh, and as you can see, Rex has uh, a very handy character sheet. Uh, so I'm going to convert over to uh, the new sheet. I don't, the, um, I don't, this is still the first edition sheet. The sheet will again look different in the final edition. Uh, but I, you can more or less fit in everything here. Uh, so um, we'll go through, and chapter two here is a good dog. That's the character creation chapter. Um, uh, so it says the best way to update a character from Pugmire to Realms of Pugmire is to rebuild it from scratch. Um, uh, however, if it's not possible, here's how you do. I mean, I, I, I could rebuild it from scratch, and uh, if you want to look at, uh, there's a video also about um, random character creation, you can get a sense of how that might look because you can just really pick pieces off of it and jump it in. Uh, but I'm going to assume for some reason that I'm not rebuilding the character, so uh, we'll just kind of walk through here. Um, so, uh, the steps are a little different in character creation. They're a different order. Uh, basically, I just restructured the order so that way you can fill your character sheet step by step. I noticed in first edition, there was some going back and forth in the book. So, this is set up to be, so it's mu you're much more frequently just moving steadily forward. You may occasionally have to flip back, but it's much more reduced by putting the steps in this order. But that's irrelevant for this kind of conversion. Uh, callings. Uh, callings are pretty much the same as they were in uh, the original book. So, uh, Let's go ahead and start then with uh, Rex uh, Pyrenees, uh, and Rex is a Guardian, uh, level one. Uh, so it looks like uh, the Guardian is the same. So uh, um, Hardy Constitution, uh, that's just there. Um, fighting, sky, fighting Style is still a Guardian trick. So we'll put Fighting Style, Great Weapon. Uh, and then um, all the aptitudes are the same. Martial weapon aptitude. Light armor aptitude. Medium armor aptitude. And heavy armor aptitude. And lots of armor. Again, the Guardians are very good at weaponry. And shield aptitude. Now, um, to be clear, these tricks still exist. The rules may have changed. So definitely after you write down all of your tricks, you should go back and double check with the material in the new edition of the book to make sure you're using the latest rules. But the fact that fighting style exists and works pretty much the same way, the fact that all these aptitudes exist and work pretty much the same way, you can go ahead and keep those as, as read. Um, uh, yeah, so really the only thing you have to worry about is the ratter. Uh, the ratter can start with slightly different weaponry um, uh, and uh, chooses from slightly different uh, starting tricks. Uh, and as a note, um, anyone can betray callings. That was something that was never really clear in the original book, um, but I made that explicit now. If you want a cat or a mouse to play an artisan, you can. Uh, so anytime you see language that says dogs, it's only because that's what Pokemon is focused on, this dog. So... Um, all, all callings are available to all species. We're going to present callings that still presents what we think are the most iconic experiences for the species. Um, so you're going to see new callings in the Cat Player's Guide, new callings in the Rodent Player's Guide. But if you want to mix and match, nothing breaks. Uh, so breeds, um, we do see that uh, Rex is a Fettel. So I'll go ahead and put that in. Uh, but in the new edition, these are called upbringings uh, because uh, it's always, the new edition was always more about how you dog just trained and grew up, uh, but we made that a little more explicit here. Um, so uh, 
the fact that he's a fettel doesn't change. And again, the federal trick doesn't change. So to go back down here, I know that that's hardy constitution. So I can go and add that back. Uh, backgrounds. Um, these are basically the same, except for the merchant has a different trick. Uh, and uh, his background is not a merchant, he's a soldier. So soldier is uh, still the same. Uh, and the trick rank has the privileges is still the same. So you see already that uh, it's really, there, there's not much, I mean, the individual abilities may have different rules, but I mean, so far, nothing has changed between these, these the two character versions. Um, and since the uh, calling and upbringing are the same, that means, or sorry, the calling and background are the same, that means that all of the skill options are the same. Uh, there may be a couple places where um, callings and uh, backgrounds may have slightly more options uh, than they did before, but if you picked options previously, none of those are going to become invalid. Uh, so, there we go. Um, uh, ability scores. Uh, the, the actual scores are obsolete, we're, so you just delete this. So all we're worried about are the bonuses. So uh, we'll just migrate those right over. And this is because the score really doesn't do anything after character creation. Uh, there are little bits and places where I kind of tried to find ways to use it, but in reality, none of it's uh, changed. Um, uh, so since uh, Guardian has the same, so uh, saving throws, strength, and charisma are still modifier. Um, one thing that has changed uh, in the, the saving throw section here a little bit below is that instead of adding a proficiency modifier, you roll with advantage. So we can just leave those blank. All that matters is if I'm rolling it with this with this uh, uh, saving throw with these two things, I roll with advantage now. Uh, proficiency bonus uh, starts with plus one, not plus two. Uh, so that is a different from the new book, um, but it does increase more frequently in the version. So ultimately, you're going to catch up and perhaps even slightly surpass near the end game of the um, uh, skills, again, like I said here, uh, they can use any ability, uh, but they're the same as the game. Um, uh, one note is that uh, handle, animal, and sense motive actually move under charisma. Uh, you can use any skill with any ability, but we're going to be more explicit about the preferred ability. Uh, but generally speaking, we're assuming handle, animal, and sense motive are use charisma more often than uh, wisdom. And uh, that's because charisma is actually expanded in scope in this edition. It's much more about social awareness rather than just personality. So you may not be a very uh, uh, strong personality if everyone likes, but you may be really socially aware, and that still is why you have a high charisma. And that allows us to do more things like charisma saving throws and charisma-based skills. Um, so tricks, if there's a trick on your sheet, just use a new one in the rule instead. Uh, like I said, check the rules on those. Um, many tricks have been revised as well as additional refinements, so you may want to change refinements. This is a first level character, so don't have any refinements right now. Um, like breed tricks are now called upbringing tricks. Um, and uh, like I mentioned, there's a merchant trick that's now been replaced with a different trick. Uh, rucksack. Um, rucksack stays the same. Uh, so um, I'm going to see. I think I can copy paste. Let me, let me see if I can do that real quick. Uh, that would be great if I could just copy and paste that. Maybe not. Nope, I can't. Okay. Um, so I'll just do same as for, for first speed. Uh, but recognize that all of this stuff, the one big difference is uh, the belt pouch, the blue plastic joint coins. That has changed. Um, that is now part of what is called a plastic track. We don't have it on this sheet, but basically there's now a little checkbox that shows you the different variations of coins you can have, and you can move up and down that track if you get more money or lose money. Uh, it's making it a little clear how money works. That was one thing people asked a lot in first edition is how money actually worked. It was in the rules, but it wasn't clear, so I, it's now going to be a separate sheet on the space on the sheet that you can make it clear. Um, and then the ideals, uh, these have changed. Uh, Specifically, the question for ideal has changed to, I am a good dog because I. Um, so uh, uh, you may have to reword the answer. So in this case, I am a good dog because I uh, want to redeem myself in the eyes of man. Uh, 
Bond is the same. I inspired my Bond to uh, Yosha and Picasso. Uh, and flaws, no matter what, I just can't hide my contempt. Four strays and prize. Uh, so, um, that's it. I mean, you know, again, it's been about 10 minutes, uh, and it's a lot of just copying stuff over. I skipped a couple things like the stamina points, the stamina dice, um, the defense and all of that. But again, you just quickly recalculate those, but in most cases, they're going to be the same numbers. Uh, so, uh, a lot of the first edition stuff will more or less work in second edition, as you can see. There's not a huge amount of conversion, a couple pieces here and there. Uh, so if you really had fun playing uh, your character before, that appendix will help walk you through how to uh, convert your character. But again, just rebuilding it from scratch because you'll find a lot of the same things in a lot of the same places. That may just be an easier way to do it uh, and, and just check on the new rules. But pretty much everything that you're looking for in first edition will be there in second edition. So hopefully that reassures you that your books don't become invalid and poof into the Easter. You can still use first edition books, more a little tiny bit of work to make them uh, cohesive with second edition.